Hello, my name is Jekka and in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate long flowing wavy hair kind of like this in Procreate. Really, you can use this wavy animation technique on anything that requires wavy animation, kind of like flags or water or a scarf or just anything that requires that wavy motion, you can apply this principle to. I've drawn this super adorable unicorn character in Procreate and I kind of want to bring attention to how I organized my layers. And of course, I've labeled all the layers because we label our layers in this household. So at the very bottom is my sketch layer, which isn't really important, but I just kept it there because I want to keep it there. And then on top of that is our body layer, followed by the stars layer. So the pink star pattern that I also want to animate later on, followed by the mane of my unicorn. And on top of that is my ear, and I've placed the ear layer on top of the mane so that I can hide the points where the mane ends behind the ear. And after the ear base are all my unicorn details, so her eyes, her nose, followed by the horn, and these horn details. We are going to be animating this unicorn's mane and the star pattern. So let's group these layers together and rename this group as one, meaning the first frame of our animation. And then all the layers on top of this, which don't need to be animated, we are also going to group them together and name this as our foreground layer. And then all of these layers underneath, we are also going to group them and name it as our background layer. Done and done. So let's bring up our animation assist panel. Here you're going to see three frames for the three groups that we have here. So the very bottom most group will be our background layer. So let's set that as a background layer. And the topmost group will be our foreground layer. In between the background and the foreground layer will be your animation frames. Create a new layer on top of group one. So I'm just gonna lower down the onion skin opacity. Let's start off with the bangs. So you'll notice that the tip of her bangs are going down this way. And we're gonna animate it going in the opposite direction for three frames. So let's draw her bangs going down like this, kind of like it's uncurling. And I don't really have anything in particular for the rest of her bangs, so we're just gonna draw it like normal but slightly different. Like so. And let's create a new layer where the bangs are going that way. So you'll notice that the curve of her bangs are stretching outward. So we're just gonna continue going that direction. Okay, so now we're done with the bangs and I told you it's gonna be simple but we are gonna dive in something a bit more complicated now. So let's animate her bangs and you'll notice that there are one, two, three peaks of the wave. So I'm just drawing the peaks slightly forward of the, uh, the original position that it's in and also these valleys. So this is the original position. I'm gonna move the valley like that. Since the tip of her mane is going that way, we're gonna be animating it going the opposite way across three frames. So just like with the bangs, let's slowly uncurl the tip of her hair. And the same thing goes for here. We're just gonna move these peaks and valleys a little forward going down. And be mindful of the line connecting the bangs to the mane. Make sure that it makes sense. And there's continuity, like kind of like an imaginary line going from here to here. 
And for our third frame, we're just going to continue doing this, moving the peaks and valleys further down and occupying these empty gaps. And for the tip of her mane, it's going to be going fully in the opposite direction. Yay! It looks so cute! Okay, so now that we've finished the hardest part of the animation, which is all of this gorgeous wavy hair goodness, we're gonna move on to animating the stars on the unicorn, which is super easy. We're just gonna do like a twinkling effect. So for the stars, let's make a new layer. And this will be the stars layer, and this is the second layer of our main animation. So let's just combine that into a group and name it Group 2. And let's select our empty layer for the stars. And so you can see that the stars, the points of it are going that way. And I kind of just want to make the points go here in the blank spaces between the original points. And that's it. So freaking easy. So let's just do the same thing for the rest of the stars. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But let's do the same thing for the third frame. So make a new layer for the stars, group the third main layer together, rename this group as frame 3. I'm just gonna try to find the points where there's a gap, like here and here. I don't want this to look too neat. This is like a weird looking star. Okay. Let's just do that. Just like a weird star right smack on her eye. And I kind of just want to find gaps between the points of the previous two stars. Oh, and also make sure that your stars layers underneath its corresponding main layer. Especially for this part where the main covers part of her neck. And let's see what we've got. Yay! Cute! Now I kind of want my animation to go from this is the first frame, so going to third frame and then going back to the first frame, kind of like a ping pong loop effect. Let's select ping pong like this and hit play. <gasps> okay! <laughs> I'm really happy with this, as you can tell. So yeah, we're done! Congratulations! You have made like a kind of complicated animation. So let's hide our background color so that we can get this nice transparent background and export our animation as an animated GIF file. And I don't really mess with this because I don't know what it does, but I'm just gonna hit the export button, click save image, and now I have a super cute animation of a unicorn ready to go for Instagram stories. So if you use this technique on your own GIF stickers, then be sure to tag me at Jacka Martinez Art so I can see them. And also, don't forget to check out these other two animation tutorials that I have right here. These are also both animation tutorials for Procreate. So if you found this video helpful, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna like these two videos as well. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like to help with the algorithm and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. As always, create your own adventures and I'll see you in the next video.